So with big traditional weddings put on hold for a while, it's no surprise that more couples are choosing to elope. But what if you could take that concept, that idea of elopement, and apply it to the rest of your life? Well, that's the idea behind a new book by Sam Starnes, a wedding photographer who, after her own big day, decided to dedicate her business to couples who choose to elope. I recently talked to Sam about this idea of eloping your life. It really has, I feel like, a great story behind it. I had done part-time weddings since 2013, 2014, give or take, and I got engaged and got married in 2016. And during that entire time, I was, you know, I, I wanted to elope and wasn't sure how to say it, and I sort of got steamrolled by, you know, friends and family and societal pressure that I feel like everyone can relate to on some level. It wasn't until afterward that I realized that there were other people like me who wanted to elope and they maybe just needed a cheerleader or someone to help empower them and be in their corner. So I dove full time into solely photographing intimate weddings, uh, adventure weddings and adventure elopements. And it eventually led into the creation of the resource Elope Your Life for anyone wanting to use that empowerment that comes with eloping in order to transform the rest of their life. So the book serves as empowerment and inspiration and tons of actionable items that you can use to help craft your day. And it's also got stories and testimonials from past couples who have eloped and eloped their lives. I love this. I love this. Talk to me really quickly about what it means to elope your life. Eloping takes courage and growth and it takes standing up to people sometimes and it takes really discovering who you are and who you are within your relationship and who your partner and you are together. And you become stronger and more aware of yourself and you become who I personally think you were meant to be. And you know why should that empowerment and that individuality and confidence stop? on your wedding day. And so why not use all of that to not just elope, but transform the rest of your life with that same set of energy. And that can be anything from standing up for yourself in situations to saying no to things that don't mm -hmm. mentally or emotionally stimulate you and fill your cup, doing things that you were too scared to do, stepping outside of your comfort zone and, and growing there. So the list is endless. It's really an amazing thing. And I think so many of us are now outside of our comfort zones because of COVID. And it, it's kind of changed. I believe it is changing the way we think and feel about things from here on out. I think in a lot of ways, there's no going back. And maybe some people feel like, hey, listen, this is the way to do it. Do you think that the elopement will become the new normal? Yeah, so great, great question. And let's be honest first, this whole situation is less than ideal. It kind of stinks. <laughs> and <Kinda. laughs> yeah, um, but I think there are some good things to come out of it. And I think one of them is the fact that it's causing us to shift our, our mindset and cause us to think outside of the box. And, you know, with that being said, you know, everyone has this concept of their dream wedding and what they've been thinking about. But let me come at you with this question. What if instead of this dream wedding, your big day could be even better? And I think that's something beautiful that people have to look at. Uh, and so, you know, really thinking about what does your wedding mean? What does your dream day mean? And dig into whether that's the people, whether that's the food, the table settings, is it really that or is it something different? Um, and yeah. so that's sort of something to really take into consideration. And I think it's really going to change how people view their weddings in the future. I love how you said it, it's a lot of growth because I actually used to think that the wedding day was all about the wedding dress. And the one thing I regret the most about my wedding is spending so much. I won't get into how much, but I spent a whole lot of money on that wedding dress. And I regret that to this day that I didn't use that for a vacation to Tahiti or something of that nature. So I love that you said growth because looking back, I would have changed that. Do you have any great tips um, for couples doing, I don't know, some adventure elopements? The first question to ask yourself is on your elopement day, how do you want to feel? 
because mm. that that is a word or words that are going to be what the rest of your day is predicated on, whether that is what dress is going to make you feel X, what location is going to make you feel X, what experiences and activities are going to make you feel X. So from there, you can kind of go into finding a location with your photographer and planner based on what you want to feel on your day and what location really speaks to you. Because a lot of us location scout and, you know, our yes. wealth of knowledge when it comes to that. So uh, we want to help align you with the backdrop that's going to really inspire you. Um, and then secondly, I really feel like people should think of their elopement day as an adventure first and a wedding second, only because people often self-limit uh, when they think, oh, my best day ever, my adventure would be hiking up a mountain and, you know, viewing sunrise and then coming down and maybe going on a hunter balloon rider or, or something, you know, epic or something really simple and, and very sweet and low key. But then they think, mm, could I do that with a wedding dress? Oh, you know, what if I sweat? Oh, what about the makeup? And you're, so you're already limiting yourself. And so I would definitely think, think of it as an adventure first and an elopement second, because when you create that ideal day, that's the day that represents you and your relationship. And that should be the day naturally of which you commit yourselves to one another. And believe me, I've seen people hike up to mountains in wedding dresses. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you can, if you can think of it, there's a way to get you there in your wedding attire, whether that's a dress or something else. All right. Some good food for thought, certainly.